Hey everyone, it's Chris and welcome back to The Ridge. Today, we're kicking off an exciting new project. We're going to build a DIY greenhouse out of old windows and French doors we found on our property. This is part one of our three-part series where we'll prepare the site, build the frame, and start enclosing the sides with these reclaimed materials. Join us! Sweet Maple Ridge Falls. Come on now, everybody. Go! All right, everyone. So welcome back to the channel. So this just gives you a little bit of an idea of what we're trying to go for with this greenhouse. We want to use as to as much as possible only stuff that we have laying around our house, um, and we also want to make it sort of rustic looking, non-conventional looking. We do want it to be an effective greenhouse but we want it to look good and our overall goal is to be able to extend our growing season so that potentially we could even grow um, vegetables throughout the winter we also want to be able to use the greenhouse to start seeds uh, early in the year and to just always have things going it's also a goal of mine to have tomatoes growing in the greenhouse at all times so that's where we're at so here you can see uh, we have all these windows that we found uh, in our property so I'm loading them up right now onto the tractor and we're gonna take them over to the location all right everybody welcome back to the channel so here's where we're gonna put our uh, greenhouse so I got like 250 230 dollars of wood now part of that was delivery charge and part of that was um these screws that i got which i'm a huge fan of but this is where we're going to put the greenhouse is going to be 10 by 8 10 feet because that's the distance between these two things these two four by fours and eight because that's the length of most of these doors now these doors uh, were all here when we bought this place uh five of them one two three five of them were completely just left in this shed that we have and then these three that are brownish uh they were here um we just did like a little project the other day and replaced some doors so these were what were, were left over but that's where we're gonna put this so i'm gonna dig this out we're gonna make this level we're gonna make it flush with the ground because i'm gonna uh have a little spot over on the right hand side with some raised with a raised bed in it. Now this is gonna be pretty small, like I said, 10 by eight, so it's gonna be small, but I think it's gonna be perfect for what we need it for. And uh, we hope to be able to grow stuff all year round now. We're gonna put water in it because we already have, already have water here, already ran here. We're gonna put electric in it because we already have electric ran here. And it's, you know, it's gonna be uh, not perfect. It's just gonna be one of those DIY things. So let's see how it turns out. So now I'm gonna start digging and I'm gonna dig some uh, fence post holes for, um, and basically what we're gonna do is attach uh, these to these posts here. So I'm gonna dig a couple fence post holes eight foot out and we're gonna go from there. Put a little gravel in there. We're gonna even this out just so things can't uh, settle down in here too much. This is normally a really wet spot in our yard, but it's so dry around here right now soil is really dry but so we're gonna put here in the bottom okay this is where we're at so far we're making some little bit of progress i had to change my clothes because it is so hot out here it's only uh in june 29th saturday but it is so hot and hazy out here i bet you it's probably only i don't know maybe 85 degrees but it's like 100 percent humidity so it's it's rough but we got this it's gonna be our one side you can see the other side i'm about to put in here we got this leveled off and then we're just gonna build this up we're gonna put another two by six across the top here and then do the same thing and then we're gonna connect these two with a two by ten two by six by ten so stay tuned all right everybody so this is what we've come up with so far We'll start over from this side. So we've attached these windows, these doors with the, I don't know what they are, I guess French doors. 
to this four by four here. We've used some two by sixes. Now, before I get, uh, you know, talked to or schooled in the comments about how you got to use pressure treated anytime it contacts the ground. I know that. Um, I just don't like to really use pressure treated around um, stuff that we're going to end up eating or around any sort of thing like this. So I'm aware that I need, I'm going to need to check on that um, to maintain it. But anyway, we have, um, well, I'll show you from the other side. So here's the corner and how this is going to go down. Now I'm deciding whether or not I'm going to cut this all the way down here to make it flush with the board, or if I'm going to maybe cut these pieces and make like a little planter here, just a little square thing to put stuff in. There's a screw, we don't wanna run over that. Sort of have a header up here. And then over here, attached to, to these two by fours. Now this is eight foot by 10 foot. So over here, we have two more of those doors we just have them screwed in here. We have some two by sixes here on the bottom. We've taken our fence and attached it. And so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put a door in, probably that white door right here, because I know it fits. I'm gonna put the white door right in the middle of here. So you're gonna pull it out, walk in. And when you walk in over here on the left, there's gonna be like a little like a, a little table thing to we can put plants on and stuff seedlings seedling trays and then when you walk in over here this is going to be a bed an in-ground bed probably three feet out and the entire length of this and i'll till this and get all the grass up and all that but um we're going to use that to plant probably tomatoes and stuff. And then over on this side, we are going to completely wall that in. I'm going to put in another door. I might use this door here because it's taller. And this, by the way, is going to be a lean-to type thing. So this is the low end, and then that's going to be the high end. All right, everyone. So we've gotten this thing a little bit more squared up. All right, so here's an update as to where we're at. This is what we got so far. We have a little ways to go yet, but we made some pretty good progress. So we're gonna cut this. Solid door here. So you can see what it looks like on the inside. We're gonna try to make this pretty, pretty airtight. So we're gonna put caulk and stuff. Um, and insulation probably down here. Cover all those holes in here. So the next order of business here today, aside from trying not to get stung by these bees who keep hanging out here and going inside. There's definitely something going on there. Anyway. We are going to put these doors we found up in our shed. And these doors, which I found down in another shed, we're going to try to put them right here. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We really appreciate it. All right, everybody. Good morning. We're back at it today. We're going to try to make a significant uh, dent in this greenhouse. We definitely wanna get this project wrapped up so we can start uh, planting some stuff. So this is what I've come up with so far. You can see it's pretty rough. Um, we got some gaps. <laughs> we got some gaps here, but we do have some pretty unique uh, utilization of, of, of these doors. So this is the actual door. We'll come on in here. That's what we got so far. This needs some work here. 
We got this nice door here. That uh, that window there, that actually opens up, so that's pretty neat. So, this is what it looks like so far. Things are a little rough around here. But we're going to get it done. We're going to get it all straightened out. And we have a bunch of poly, um, polycarbonate panels that came in uh, just this week. And so we're going to start using those to, we're going to put on the roof and we're going to fill in these holes. So stick around and we'll, we'll keep you all up to date with, with what we do. But this project, we, we're going to, we're going to get this thing uh, really rocking and rolling today. So I can't wait to show you what we come up with. So this is what we ended up with at the end of the day. We moved a couple of things around. We put up the poly material uh, for the roof. We rearranged how things were on the very front. As you walk in, you can see the poly up on the top. Uh, we have more work to do. Um, I have some sheets of eight mil two by eight sheets that we're going to put on the sides where the, the triangle is there. And I also rearranged the way that those windows set. So that's what we came up with. Um, we think it's uh, gonna, we think it's gonna work out. So that's the front of it, that's the sides. And we're gonna keep on going. Stay tuned for part two. Part two is gonna be where we wrap this project up. And then we're gonna do a part three where we do a complete overview of the entire project the good, the bad, and the ugly, and we can't wait to show you guys. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Definitely hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time out on the ridge.